Seth Rogen meets Jay Baruchel in an airport. Jay wants to grab a burger but learns that Seth is on a cleanse after learning that he should be taking a dump six times a day. The two argue about what gluten actually is, but end up grabbing a burger anyways. They head back to Seth's home where Jay is quite stunned at the place, but even more excited about the display of snacks and smoke Seth has prepared for them. The two spend the rest of the evening chilling and getting high and hanging out. Seth invites Jay to a party at James Franco's house, where all the A-list celebrities are supposed to be, and Jay is reluctant about meeting new people but eventually agrees. They take a taxi and get to Franco's mansion. He invites them inside where a bunch of people are hanging out, including Rihanna, Michael Seurat and Jonah Hill. Jay heads outside to have a smoke and meets Craig Robinson and Emma Watson. The three chat while inside, James and Seth brainstorm ideas for a Pineapple Express sequel. The celebrities spend the rest of the evening singing chatting and hanging out, Jay runs out of cigarettes and asks Seth to follow him. On their way, Jay is mad that Seth ditched him at the party for his other friends, but Seth tells him he is just too antisocial. The two continue arguing about Jay being more friendly, when a blast shatters the windows to the store. Bright blue lights begin appearing around a few people, pulling them into the sky. Outside, the blue lights fill the night sky. After the lights disappear, Seth and Jay run outside where the city is in chaos, as driverless cars crash around them. They run back to Franco's house in shock but learns that nobody at the party heard anything. Jay tries to tell them what happened but nobody there believes him, as nothing happened at the party. Seth denies seeing anything to avoid being mocked, when another earthquake shakes the house. The celebrities all make a run for it, clearing out of the house where outside, they see the entire city burning. Everyone begins freaking out when Michael, high off something, demands to know who took his phone. Behind him the ground begins to split open, and a street light falls, piercing him through the stomach. Michael is swallowed into the ground as a huge hole begins opening up, swallowing celebrities. Rihanna is next to go, and the rest of the stars all begin running for safety. After kicking a guy into the fire, Kevin Hart is next to fall. Jay is hanging on for dear life and manages to climb out of the massive hole. He runs back to the house, where Jonah Craig and James are freaking out about what just happened. They check the news where they hear reports about martial law and looting, before the signal is cut. Jay wants to return to Seth's place, not wanting to die at Franco's, but Seth argues that it's best to stay with the group. They think that they will be okay as the celebrities always get help first. They hear a helicopter and think they're being rescued but the helicopter crashes outside. For protection, they decide to barricade themselves inside and take inventory of all the food they have with them, which is not much. Out of all the food, the guys begin arguing about who gets the Milky Way, but James stakes his claim. That night, the guys try to sleep and outside they hear screams and shooting, sounding like a war. Seth joins Jay, saying he is scared. Jay thinks that maybe the apocalypse has begun but Seth thinks nothing of it. They are joined by Craig and Jonah and they rest for the night. The next morning, the guys wake up to Danny eating all their food. He has no clue what is happening and thinks the guys are just crazy as they try to explain. There is a loud banging on the door as someone is trying to get in. A man breaks down the door, begging for them to open up, but Franco doesn't think they should let him in, as he could be a serial killer or something. Jay wants to help the guy, so they vote on the idea. Suddenly the man's head gets chopped off and the guys kick it around, screaming in terror before Craig covers it with a blanket. They think that whatever killed the man may still be out there and the guys run to the top floor to see nothing but smoke and fire covering LA. Later, the friends wonder if maybe a tsunami hit, but Jay tells them that it's the apocalypse. He pulls out a Bible and begins to read scriptures describing the rapture and the fire everywhere. James thinks it's all nonsense saying that they all couldn't be that bad to be left behind. For the next few days the friends try to survive, eating, chilling, getting high and shooting the sequel to Pineapple Express. There is another loud banging at the door, and someone is hacking their way in. The guys freak out until they see it's Emma Watson wielding an axe. She survived by hiding in a drain and explains the howling and screeching she heard, thinking it's a zombie apocalypse. Franco lets her stay in his room before Jay tries telling them to not give off any creepy vibes. Emma overhears them chatting about taking advantage of her and bursts out of the room with her axe in hand. They try to explain, but Emma demands all their food before leaving the house. Out of drinks, Franco tells them about water in his basement, but someone would need to go out of the house. The guys draw match sticks and Craig ends up being the one to go. They tie a rope around Craig and he demands that they pull him back in if they hear him scream. Craig steps outside, seeing smoke covering everywhere and the trees are on fire. Something begins snarling and Craig makes a run for it, pulling the rope from the guy's hands. Craig tries to get into the basement but it is locked. He runs back to the house and barely makes it inside, until something begins pulling on the rope still tied to him. They manage to cut the rope in time and save his life. 
Franco explains that the water bottles are literally beneath their feet, so the friends decide to dig through the floor to get to them. Later, Craig talks with Jay about the apocalypse. Jay tells him that they may still have a chance to make it to heaven if they follow the Bible. Seth is left alone to dig through the floor, so Jay offers to help him out. The friends are chatting when the floor suddenly opens and they fall to the basement in a crash. The basement is dark so they get a flashlight and find the bottles of water. The guys ball out with the bottles and have a glass for dinner. Danny being a total a-hole, begins wasting the water before the guys tackle it away from him. Franco is fed up with Danny in the house, eating their food and wasting their water and demands that Danny leave. The guys vote on it and break the news to Danny. Danny plays the victim card, making all the guys feel guilty about making him leave. Danny asks for a weapon to protect himself and James hands him a gun, but he ends up turning it on the guys. Luckily, it's just a prop gun. Danny then begins to put the guys on blast, revealing that Jay does not always tell Seth when he comes to LA. Danny then leaves. Jonah confronts Jay about this and gets punched in the face. Jonah goes to bed and prays to God to kill Jay. The guys are asleep that night when a demon appears in Jonah's room, having the biggest dong, and uses it to assault Jonah. The guys run out of food and water once more and draw matchsticks to choose who goes to the neighbor's house to get water. Jonah looks a little off but swears he is okay, on his arm he sees the scratch marks. Seth ends up being the one to go. Seth is too scared, so Jay decides to go instead, much to Jonah's delight. Jay and Craig head outside armed with a bat and a frying pan. They get to the neighbor's house and head inside, planning to just grab and go. Back at the house, Franco and Seth hear something crash inside and run to see Jonah on the floor, with pale skin, looking possessed. They think he is having a low blood sugar episode and get him the Milky Way. Suddenly, he begins speaking in a strange deep voice, telling the friends that Judgment Day is upon them, and the apocalypse is coming. Jay and Craig find shelves stocked with food and pack a bag. Jay thinks they should just bail on the guys and stay there, seeing that they have all the food, but Craig thinks that would be a dick move. Suddenly a large demon bursts through the wall, begins attacking them and chasing them through the house. Jay is trying to escape when he is cornered by the demon. He is attacked but Craig saves him in time by pushing them both through the window. Back at Franco's, Jonah begins projectile vomiting on the guys, covering them with a brown liquid before disappearing. He attacks Franco with super strength, throwing him across the room before attacking Seth and attempting to assault him, before the guys manage to fight him off. The two run to another room where they hide inside a closet as Jonah comes stumbling in, looking for them. Jonah is about to find them but they push him back and run downstairs, where Jay and Craig come running in. Jonah attacks them, but Jay knocks him out with the bat before they all tie Jonah up on the bed. Seeing everything, they agree that they are in the apocalypse and they need to try and find a way to survive. They think they are good people and God made a mistake, but Craig tells them to be real. He confesses that he gouged a man's eyeballs out when he was a kid and maybe that's why he is here. Franco confesses that he banged Lindsay Lohan when she was high. They realize that they have all done bad things and they must pay for their sins. Upstairs they can hear Jonah screaming and snarling and decide to help him. The friends plan an exorcism. The demon begins laughing at them, revealing that Jonah is no more. Jay then begins to repeat the power of Christ compels you, until the demon begins to scream and thrash around in pain. Seth interrupts Jay, bringing up the argument from earlier, while the demon starts gassing them on. The two end up fighting, which knocks over a candle. During the fight, they end up in another room and realize that Franco was hiding food from them all along. They have no time to be mad as they realize that Jonah is on fire. He breaks free from the bed and begins chasing the guys through the house, while setting the entire house on fire. To escape, the friends clear the blockade to the door and run out just in time as the entire house comes crashing down, killing Jonah. Realizing they are out in the open, they plan to take Franco's Prius, until a massive winged demon lands in front of them. Craig steps up and decides to sacrifice himself for the guys so that they can escape. He begins drawing the demon's attention, and charges at it, but a light from heaven saves him, and pulls him up into the sky. The guys manage to get away in the car and realize that they still have a chance of going to heaven, seeing that Craig was able to get in. They decide that they need to be nice to each other, and begin paying each other compliments, before a truck slams into them. Some Mad Max looking guys pull them from the car and a man with a chainsaw steps up to attack them. A voice tells them to stop and Danny steps out, revealing that he has become some sort of cannibal king, with Channing Tatum as his butt slave. Danny decides that they are going to eat the guys, but while he is distracted, Franco chooses to sacrifice himself so the two can escape. Franco creates the distraction and begins fighting the cannibals until a light comes down over him. He begins to get pulled up, but flips off Danny, which causes him to fall back to earth. Danny and the cannibals then eat him alive. 
Jay and Seth run for safety. They hear massive footsteps in the distance and look out to see Satan, standing miles above LA and making its way towards them. Out of options, the friends begin to speed run their confessions and decide to die together. Satan is about to eat them until a light comes down, only Jay is surrounded by light and Seth is pissed. He tries to jack a ride with Jay to heaven and they begin to get pulled up together, but Satan rises and begins trying to attack them. The light from heaven begins to fade as Seth was not allowed. Seeing that they will both die, Seth decides that Jay must live, and he lets go. He is about to be eaten, but a light from heaven saves him, injuring the devil. The friends then celebrate as they are lifted to heaven. The two get to heaven, celebrating as they run towards the pearly gates. They are greeted by Craig who has become an angel. Jay and Seth also become angels. In heaven everyone is partying and they even have Kush there. They realize that they can wish for anything, so Jay wishes for the Backstreet Boys to appear and they give a performance. Remember to turn on notifications, so you can watch more movie recaps like this. Thanks for watching.